go ahead and lotion up some body zombie ashy on video. You know, that's like my trademark being ashy. So I can be so glowing. What's up guys, it's your boy Stevie D here with a quick video about the Molisetti. So if you were thinking about getting the Molisetti, I just wanted to let you know uh, about a few things that, that you may not know. So the Molisetti comes with the Rift Tilt. And the Rift Tilt uh, receiver is a 1-1-8 receiver. So it's not like a regular C-stand with a 5-8 uh, baby stud. So it's on b hs website, it's on Hanorama's website, it's on Mola's website that you actually need a 1-1-8 receiver. So if I was to take the Mola and stick it on my baby pen, it actually does fit, but there's no mounting, there's no screwing um, that you can do to hold it down. So Mola refers everyone to get a, a light stand that has a 1-1-8 receiver. So you'll have to buy a new light stand uh, that has the 118 receiver if you wanted to use the motor. However, I found a few workarounds for this, but before I show you the workaround, I'm going to show you what an actual 5 8 I'm sorry, 118 receiver looks like. So I use the Kupo C stands um, for all my light lighting equipment. Um, they're really heavy duty, uh, real sturdy, and I think they're going to last me for a long time. But again, this is a 5A stud, and the Mola Seti doesn't accept a 5A stud. So what I had to do was get a Kupo stud extension that has the 118 receiver on here, and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and switch these out and show you guys the difference. So if you already have a, a Kupo, base, you can just stick this extension in there. So now what happens is once I put the Mola City inside the receiver, I can actually lock it down. So now that's actually secure. I can tilt it up and down if I want to, and it's secure. But the problem is when I shoot, I like to angle the beauty dish to the left or to the right, and with this, you really can't do that. Um, I would have to buy uh, an expensive boom arm. So I'm gonna show you what I found out that you can buy that's gonna actually help you mount this on a boom arm um, from the C-stand. So I found this little handy dandy tool. Uh, it's by Matthews. It's a 118 receiver and also a 58 receiver. So your regular baby stud, junior stud. So because I like to get my beauty dish out over me, I'll be able to mount this on my extension arm like so. Tighten it down. Then I'll be able to put my SETI inside the junior receiver part. So now I can bring my molar out and use my extension arm and it still acts as a boom without having to buy a brand new boom. And believe it or not, this little adapter costs $34.95 from B&H. That's the only place that I've, I've actually found one that actually works. So if you're looking to get a Mola SETI, you're going to either need a stand that has a 5.8 receiver uh, like the uh, Kubo extension I showed you, or you can get one of these and save yourself a little money uh, and, and install it on your existing C-stand. I would recommend getting a C-stand, uh, something heavy duty like this, uh, to mount your Mola setting. So I hope you guys found this little tip uh, informative, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys later. Peace.